And this is a tire gauge. This is what you use to measure the depth of your tires. You got different readings on it. You got uh, 30 seconds, and then you got um, in the red is a uh, millimeter. The black is 30 seconds. And for your steer tire, for your steer tire, you should be reading no less than 430 seconds. Try to see if I could get this thing to focus. So reading 8.30 seconds on this steer, and that's how you read it, that's your, once this push out, it'll stop where the tire at, and you get your reading like that. Oh, this one, it should be reading pretty high, because these drive tires are fairly new. The drive tire should be no less than 230 seconds. Try and get the reading on this one. This one reading 1630 seconds. This one 2230 seconds. So that's how you read your tire depth. Just get your tire gauge like this. A lot of times when you go to a tire shop, you could get one from the tire shop, like those, um, not at the truck stop, but an actual tire shop. Sometimes they have them there, sometimes they're just giving them away, or if you gotta buy it, it's like $5 for it. Or you could get it off Amazon, I'll put a link in the description, you could get it off Amazon if you want to. But it's good to have it. You could always check Good the depth to, be able of your to tire. check your tire pressure gauge, check the tire depth. That way nobody can tell you your tire's bad when they're not bad. If you get a DOT inspection and he tell you your tire low, just go out there and check it yourself to verify it. But if you already have a tire depth gauge, you should be checking your tire frequently. That way, if he tell your tire low, it shouldn't be no surprise to you, because you should already know it's low. But that's how you check the depth on your tire, man. I'm dropping these videos for a lot of people coming in the game that don't know how to do this stuff. Didn't know this was part of your job out here. So don't forget to hit that subscribe.